genes control life, and let's go on to the next subject, mm -hmm. uh, than it is to fully explain the mechanism. And then I have to tell you, there is really a second side to this. It's unfortunate because there are there are uh, um, corporations, so to speak, that are actually not interested in the new science reaching the public. And the reason is that uh, these corporations depend on the beliefs that people hold now, that if people change their beliefs, these corporations lose their power. And the primary corporations I'm talking about are the pharmaceutical industries. Of course. Because their belief system is they want us to believe that we are like biochemical robots. And that if something is not working in our lives, then we must attribute the problem to something wrong with the biochemistry. And therefore, if we make drugs, which are a form of biochemistry, then we can fix your problems by fixing your mechanical machine. Mm, yeah. it, 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 that's the belief that we're told. That's yeah. why all the, the drugs are uh, on the market, is rather than people being told, how about healing yourself? <laughs> they're saying, no, no, you're a machine. You, you really have no control over this. Uh, so just take these drugs. And the reality is, this is totally incorrect. And yet the problem is, it, it, when we understand the nature of the biology is actually based on belief, then if you buy a belief that is limiting or self-sabotaging belief, but you buy that as a truth, then that's actually what you operate by. Mm -hmm. And that's an unfortunate situation because if we buy the belief that we are victims and are frail and vulnerable, if we buy that as a belief, then that's what we become. And exactly. why I get excited by the new biology is, no, no, you have to know who you are so you can rewrite the beliefs that limit us and limit our uh, evolution of peace and global uh, unity on this planet. We have to change the belief systems. And, and science, as I said, has already changed the belief systems, except the public is not getting that information. Mm. So it's a kind of a combined thing. There is an, an interest also here, I guess, to actually keep people... Uh, in this state or, or educate people in this way so they actually don't break out of this mold, right? I, it, this is absolutely true. There, there was a recent film by Michael Moore called Sicko, which mm -hmm. is about the United States health industry and the business that it is and sure. all that. But what was very interesting is that he had a, uh, a video interview with a man called Tony Benn, who was a member of British Par Parliament. And Tony Benn just clearly came right out and said that the only way you can control a population is that you keep them unhealthy and you limit their intelligence. Because he said a smart, healthy population is not easy to govern, but a weak, unhealthy uh, uh, and population that is unaware is very easy to control. So there are in this, in, interesting situations, even as these government officials like Tony Benn point out, mm -hmm. that it's not in the interest... Uh, for the people that manage or control life, to have us as the citizens become more aware and become more healthy because then we are less controllable. Exactly, and it's not easy to be in a position that we are in now then because people are uh, from day one basically, you know, uh, being taught into this system and uh, in many cases uh, I guess it's not our fault. In a way it is because we are conscious and we are aware and we can break free and out of that at any time but if we are not handed down the processes of how to think freely we're we're likely that we're not going to be able to do it right right and the problem with the word fault uh, it, this is a problem because this is this is where some of the issues come in because people all of a sudden say i'm not, yeah, i'm not responsible for the the problems in my life because this is the way they were programmed that things happen to them so that they're just like victims mm. and, and the idea is we can't say that this person is at fault for this reason they've never been given the proper education to operate from mm. so if we're ignorant of the truth then we can't be guilty because we didn't know what the truth was. Yeah. But now that this new science is available, then here's the whole idea. We educate the population about how truly powerful we are mm. and tell them the nature of how we lost this power through programming by other people. Mm. And once we understand this, then we have access to say, well, then how can I change my belief systems? And that's what we have to do to acquire the powers that I that we have. And, and you say, well, what kind of powers do we have? And it's fun. I, like, I mean, it's, for example, uh, you, you, people are very familiar with the fact that p other people walk across hot coals, even, you know, flaming hot coals. Sure. And you say, how, how 
uh, what are these special people? And the answer is, they're no special people. They're just like every other person on this planet. So you say, well, how come they can walk across the hot coals and the average person will do the same thing, will get burned? Mm -hmm. and, and the only difference, it's not biology, it's all based on belief. <laughs> the belief of the person that's walking across the hot coals is unshakable. They know they can walk across it. But if you walk across the hot coals and then question... I wonder if the aisle get burned. The moment you question is the moment you get burned. So it's interesting. It's like it's all a matter of belief. Or here's one: a lot of a lot of articles. That I've got this from a lot of newspaper collections. So because it's it so it happens a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say there's a car accident, and a child gets pinned under the car. That a mother can actually lift up the car and get the child out. Now, this is not just one incident. This is reported all over the world. Mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden you say, well, well, that's interesting. And I say, no, interesting. I go, here's a woman who's totally untrained, physically not an athlete or anything, lifting over a thousand pounds where the most trained weightlifters in this world lift about 700 pounds for a world title. Here's an untrained woman lifting a thousand pounds. Mm -hmm. And then people say, oh, well, that's because of the adrenaline. And then I laugh and I say, I don't care what the reason is, the, the concept is this, that a woman who's totally untrained can lift over a thousand pounds. Mm, yeah. <laughs> and they say, but she wasn't, any, she wasn't genetically different than anybody else. She's just like any other woman on this planet. They say, well, then how come we don't, we, we're not that strong like Superman? How come we can't lift a thousand pounds? And the answer is, it's our belief system, <laughs> basically. <laughs> and, and then there's this very other interesting one, because it's an issue in the United States, which I talk about in my lectures. Uh, down in the United States in the South, we have religious fundamentalists that work themselves up into a religious ecstasy state. And in this state, they, they testify that God protects them by doing things, by showing, look, God protects me. Some of them play with uh, rattlesnakes and copperhead snakes. These are very poisonous vipers. And they show that God protects them by allowing them to play with these very dangerous animals. That, but it, even if they get bitten, they, they don't have the poisonous problem that other people have. Mm -hmm. Well, that's interesting, but here's the one I want to tell people about, because uh, it's even in a, in a paper by a psychologist who studied these people. Some of them testify that God protects them. And this is a belief issue. This isn't that religious belief, like mm -hmm. uh, in a state of ecstasy about how God protects them. Drink strychnine in toxic doses and don't have any adverse effects. Hmm. Basically, what that says is they're drinking poison, mm -hmm. and they're not getting sick. And the fact is, you cannot do this if you don't have the belief that you're protected. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't have that belief, that poison is sure as heck kill you. So what's interesting is, we look at these things walking across fire, lifting a thousand pounds, drinking a very toxic poison, and having no no uh, consequence of that, uh, or things like a spontaneous remission, mm. where a person is on a deathbed, and all of a sudden, they got well, and they're off that deathbed, and people say, what, what, what is the common connection between the, the walking across the coals, the fire, the poison, mm. or spontaneous remission? And the answer is, it's all based on the belief of the individual. And, and, mm. and you say, well, belief can do this? And, and then the joke and fun part is, the new physics called quantum physics, there's, there's a fundamental principle that's built right into the belief system of quantum fixes, physics, the, the most tested science in, in, in the history of science. Quantum physics is the most tested and accurate scientific theory ever presented. Mm -hmm. And what does it say? The fundamental belief in that says that are the particles that make up our world, are they, are they physical particles or are they energetic waves? Uh, and it can't be both. You can't be a, a physical thing or an energy wave. It's like either or. Mm -hmm. and, and in the physics, what they found out is, if you look at these fundamental units, they're particles if you think they are, or they're waves if you look at them as if they're waves. And it says, well, how can it be both? And the answer is, it's the observer that creates the reality. Mm -hmm. And this is the fundamental law of physics. Sure. Well, the, the, the beautiful part is, Biology is built on physics, that your biology is built on the principles of physics. So the fundamental principle, principles of physics also apply to biology. It says, mm -hmm. what is this world based on? The answer is, it's based on you as the observer because you are creating...